We need to have the conversation of small government versus big government. That's the argument. Progressives have worked in the cover of darkness for decades to infiltrate and to, to cover and to, uh, I mean, they're chameleons, and then grow the size of government. Now, now they sense opportunity. This is it. This is the closing chapter. They're, they're now talking openly about the wonders of big government and how big government is a solution to all of our problems. And the vehicle being used to get there is crisis. The president had this to say over the weekend at the University of Michigan. What troubles me is when I hear people say that all of government is inherently bad. When our government is spoken of as some menacing, threatening foreign entity, it ignores the fact that in our democracy, government is us. Government is the roads you drove in on and the speed limits that kept you safe. That's not government. That's not government. First of all, George Washington, Mr. President, said that government is a necessary evil. I've never said that all government is inherently bad. I don't know anybody who does, except anarchists. I've never heard a Tea Party member say, we've got to get rid of government. Never. Never. Anarchists. Anarchists. They are anti-government. Anarchists. Government. Military. The roads, the speed limits, all of a sudden. I mean, those are the things that we expect from our government. But the government shouldn't be regulating my Dorito intake or how many miles I can drive or what I can be taxed on how far I drive. Regular schlubs aren't taking time out of their busy days to protest because we've just suddenly decided, oh, I hate the military and speed limits. That doesn't even make any sense. The average person now sees that government is getting out of control and Americans don't like that. They also see that America is now going bankrupt because of this giant government and the policies that our government is doing, just like Greece. And so what are they doing? The American thing, and they're speaking out. In America, you need to keep doing it.